So now that we've created the um, the actual theme and we also synchronized it once to, with Sidecore, we want to start actually working on our components and then synchronize our changes constantly into Sidecore and refresh the page to see whatever has been changed. So Sidecore offers two different um, workflows in order to synchronize the changes, a rather asynchronous one uh, called Creative Exchange and a synchronous one called Creative Exchange Live. So the Creative Exchange process is uh, a process where you can export your whole website if you want to um, into statically or static HTML um, files and uh, along with the JavaScript and CSS files and everything you have in your theme. And you could zip that and send it over, for example, to a front end related agency so that they can start styling your site and send it back. And you are able in SXA to import it back into your uh, into your site. And if everything works fine, then uh, you see your site styled and can go on with uh, whatever you need to do with your site. So uh, one thing that is important to know is that uh, the exported HTML market markup doesn't require Sidecore at all. Um, it runs just it's uh, it's all index HTML files which, which contain everything that it needs, but it also contains uh, GUIDs at the one or the other place in order to map back um, yeah, your changes into Sidecore. So those GUIDs are not allowed to be changed. Otherwise, the uh, whole synchronization process or the import process will not work. Um, yeah, as I said, this is a very asynchronous process. So you, you build a zip file, you give it to someone, someone is working on it uh, for a certain amount of time and then handing it back to you and you try to import it and then you will see uh, the changes. So um, there is a much better way from my perspective uh, where you have a synchronous uh, um, yeah, uploading and synchronization with uh, Sitecore, which is called then Creative Exchange Live. And I, I do believe this is also the recommended way uh, in order to work with Sitecore as a front end developer, even though it requires um, a Sitecore installation on your local, or you could also have it on a VM or something like that. Yeah, and just to add a little more about that from experience on real projects, I think the manual zip export and zip import option, it does have a use case, but it's a pretty niche use case, which is you know that you want some front end agency to work on the CSS and the JavaScript for you, and you know that no one else is going to try to work on that same CSS and JavaScript during that same time period and you know that the person who's going to work on those front end assets really doesn't want to run Sitecore themselves. So this is one option that could get you to that goal and allow those people to work on the CSS and JavaScript. They get a copy of the static HTML, so they don't have to run Sitecore and they could still see the whole site in action with their styles and their JavaScript that they're coding, uh, but they don't really get to tinker with the HTML output. They really are leaving that static HTML example output as is, and they're just working on the front end assets that are in the theme. And then you could get that zip file back from them, including their latest changes. You can import it into Sitecore, but just want to reiterate, once you import that into Sitecore, if you had had other developers working on that same theme simultaneously in that same time period, you'd end up overriding some of their latest work. So this is really only a good tool in cases where you know this outside source is going to work on it and they're the only ones working on it for that period of time. Yeah. So let's have a look uh, on the case where I would say you have a you have a team of developers working on it at the same time. Uh, either you have full stack developers or front end and back end developers separated. Um, but yeah, you work on it as a uh, as a team, I would say. So in this way, you can use Creative Exchange Live. Well, this enables front-end developers to modify the themes and then uh, synchronize everything back using the uh, SXA CLI. So uh, they they run locally then the SXA watch command, which watches then all their um, uh, theme folders. Uh, so whenever a change and the save operation happens, it's going to be synchronized into Sidecore and can be instantly seen 
uh, after page refresh um, so that you see uh, um, what needs to be done in addition uh, in terms of styling. It also contains a, a complete SAS uh, compile, so you can work in SAS files definitely, and those will get compiled into uh, CSS files and then later on into a minified file that is being synchronized with, uh, with Sitecore. So and when we say on this slide, it's only available with basic two theme. I think we mean there that's the theme out of the box that will give you the example yes. of all of the files you need to be in your theme to use this SXA watch command successfully. Yes. So you so can use this process in any new custom theme that you create. You're usually just starting with the basic two theme as your starting example and getting all those gulp watch files from there. Exactly. I mean, you're also free to do it on your own, but um, there's definitely a good offer by SXA that uh, coming from the basic two theme where everything is set up uh, for you and just you just need to use it. So uh, yeah, definitely makes sense. Um, good. So next step is, um, yeah, let's have a, have a look on the uh, overall workflow that you're going to use. So what we have done already is creating a theme using the CLI, so using the SXA new command, and um, then we could start basically running uh, or opening our theme in Visual Studio Code, for example, or any other platform that you like to use uh, in order to edit. Um, things uh, or front-end related assets and before you actually start uh, doing the edit you could run already the sxa watch task or watch command uh, in order to connect to your site core instance and then uh, this command is watching for your changes so once you make changes on your site design so meaning on your on your sas files or javascript files um, then those get automatically synced using the sxa watch command uh, into site core 